Amen. I am just so grateful to be here and what an honor it is to uh, stand before you. Why don't you just stand to your feet, everybody? It's a blessing to be able to have two feet to stand on. Matter of fact, look down at your feet. They may be hurting, but thank God for hurting feet because you could be paralyzed. You just need to wave your hand. Wave your hand. You may have some little aches. It's, it's okay. It's a part of life. But just thank God that I'm able to wave my hand. Some of y'all not waving your hand. I said wave your hand. It's a blessing. There are people in the hospital having to push a button for a nurse to come and turn them over. You ought to thank God that it's one more time in his house that I can wave my hand and say, hey, God, it's me again. Come on, are you grateful to be here tonight? Come on, clap your hands and give God praise. And so, God, we thank you for your loving kindness, your tender mercy, your outstretched hands. You've been so good to us. You stayed the hand of death for us again and gave us another opportunity to walk through these doors and to worship your name. We honor you, God, because it's in you that we live, we move, we have our being. If it had not been for you, God, none of us would be here. But it's because of your grace and your mercy that we can lift our hands and say, thank you, God. Thank you, Father, for allowing us another opportunity. And as we approach your throne today, God, these have come tonight in this upper room conference to get a word. A word, just one word, can change their whole perspective of life. It's one word, God, that will bring healing to their bodies. It's one word that can bring their children back into the frame of mind of wanting to be saved. It's just one word. God, that we pray over our families, oh God, that they would be knowing you for the pardon of their sins. Father, it's just one word, one word that would turn things around for us. And God, let these people know today that you brought them here because there is one word that is going to change their life. We thank you for it now. We know you, God. We know you. We know what you can do. We know what you've done. We thank you for the healing. We thank you for the deliverance. We thank you for another opportunity to give you praise. We honor your name. Ah, oh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. When we're weak, you're a strong tower. Oh, God, even in our weakest hour, you said the righteous, we run therein, and we are safe. Thank you, God, for safety. Thank you, God, for safety. Thank you, God, for safety. Hurricane Matthew came, but it didn't touch Atlanta. Thank God for safety. Ah, oh, God, look on those that are going through even right now. Ah, oh, God, put the power back on in every house in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, you can diminish the water as soon as possible. You're able to do anything but fail. We have relatives in those cities. God, I thank you for bringing me out just in time. Thank you, Jesus. And so, God, as we go in the further part of this service, I pray, God, that you would touch us. Give us a word that would catapult people's ministries in this room. That your anointing saturate and walk up and down the aisles and preach me like a mad woman. Put the devil on the run and get back our stuff that the devil has stolen in the last two or three years. Open your mouth and say, I'm going to get it all back. It's some stuff I'm waiting on. I'm going to get it all back. Before this year ends, I got about two or three more months. But God, I'm going to get it all back. I'm decreeing and declaring that the devil is going to bring it back. And he's going to put it in my face and say, ah, I'm sorry I even did it. I thank you, God, for what you're going to do. Now, God, touch us and strengthen us. And let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart. Be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And all the blessed people of the Lord, put your hands together. Open up your mouth and give God a praise in this place that won't wait. Come on. Give him a praise. Give him a praise. Give him a praise. Come on. You owe it to him. He woke you up this morning. You owe him that praise. Yeah, he gave you transportation. You got a roof over your head. Come on. You owe him that praise. Come on. Some of y'all in some financial difficulties. You owe him a praise so he can see you. He inhabits the praises of his people that every time you open your mouth, he runs to you. And he say, what you need now? And he always comes through. And he always meets our need. He is God, the God that will supply. 
He is the God that will supply. Look at your neighbor. Say, he is the God that will supply. Say, he did it before, and he's getting ready to do it again. You believe it? Clap them hands and give God a praise. Before you take your seat, I want you to bless God for this God set man of the house. Everybody that's part of Mount Carmel should not be sitting down. We're talking about your pastor, your leader. Come on, give it to this awesome preacher. My God, an awesome man of God here in Atlanta, Georgia, the one and only Dr. Timothy Flemings. And we thank God for him and bless God for all of the ministerial staff of Mount Carmel and to all of my sisters and brothers right here on this side of heaven. I love you, and it ain't a thing you can do about it. Hallelujah. I'm so blessed. God bless you. Take your seat. Take your seat. I'm just so thankful that God has connected us again here in the upper room, and um, I, I don't know about you, but I'm looking for God to do something on this week. Uh, not by myself, because I'm only going to be here one night, so I said, I'm looking for God to do something on this week. Yeah. You, you got to put something in. And what I mean by putting something in, you got to say something. Things, you, 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 you got to ask God, Lord, you know, I've been talking to you about this a long time. And I need a miracle. I need a sign. Anybody in here need a sign? If it ain't nothing but the mailman just coming up and showing up, I need a sign. I got to get happy off my own stuff. I said, if it ain't nothing but the mailman just walking down your street, coming to your mailbox, dropping something in that you wasn't expecting. See, if you don't say nothing, I ain't talking to you. I'm only talking to the Pope. I'm only talking to about 20 of y'all that can just give God a praise all night long because you're looking for a miracle. You're expecting the impossible. You feel the intangible. You see the invisible. The sky is the limit to what I can have. I'm spoiled, I'm spoiled, I'm spoiled since I've been a child of God. He just spoils me because he told me to ask and it shall be given. He told me to go on and seek and I will find. He told me to go on and knock and the door shall be open. I'm just a spoiled kid on the block. And I can't help it if I'm just going to give God the praise so he can just give me what I'm asking him for. Because if you don't say nothing, that means you don't need him to do it. Look down your row and tell everybody on your row, you got to open your mouth and say something if you need him to do it. Matter of fact, he can do it by 12 o'clock tomorrow. He can do it by 3 o'clock tomorrow. He can do it by 8 o'clock tomorrow. He can do it. My God, my God. Just lift your hand and say, hey, God, it's me again. I know I asked you for something before, but honey, it's something different now. And I believe you're going to do just that. Amen. Are you grateful about your future? Eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard. It hasn't entered into the enemy's heart, the things. You ought to be glad your enemy don't know what you're getting ready to possess. I said you ought to be glad your enemies don't know. Some of your family members don't know. What you getting ready to inherit, y'all ain't hearing you. What you getting ready to walk into. Ah, uh, they didn't put me in the wheel, but I got something happening. <laughs> something is about to come. Hallelujah, and it can come through somebody else. I don't hear nobody in here. Hallelujah. Listen, God is not going to leave you by yourself. You, the one thing that I found, found out about God is that he's never late with child support. You must not be his child. <laughs> he's never late. He, he's never late. It looks like he's taken so long. It looks like it's taken months and weeks and years. But when it's God's time, and honey, he can show up and blow your mind at the same time. He's never late with his child support. He always comes through. And the thing I love about it, he said, I've never seen the righteous. I forgot y'all up there. I've never seen the righteous forsaken. No, his seed bed. 
for Wonder Bread. You ain't never had to go without Wonder Bread. Uh-huh, if it came down to the two butt parts that was left in the bag, don't act, don't act like you ain't had the butt part of the bread now. Uh-huh. Yeah, all of us have been there. We got real hungry until we wanted to get some kind of sandwich fixed, and some of y'all looked in your cupboard and you saw some peanut butter and jelly, said this would be just right. And it became a wonderful sandwich right then. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Look at your neighbor and say, yeah, I've been there. I've been there. He brought me from a mighty long ways. I done went from peanut butter to steaks now. And not just once a week. It's every day now. Y'all ain't hearing me. Ah, oh, look at your neighbor and say, he's never late. He's never late. He's always on time. Some of y'all got some things that you've been asking God to do. I tell you, by Friday, you're going to see some things that's going to blow your mind. Yeah, I see some of y'all really wanted God and everybody that just screamed. Not the ones that did not, but the ones that just screamed, God, I need you to do it for them. Blow their mind because they, they representing you. Blow their mind on their job and blow their mind in their family and blow their mind in their business and blow their mind in the grocery store. Blow their mind with discounts. Blow their mind. How many of y'all know that God can do that? He can do that. Amen. He can do just that. He can do just that. I don't know about y'all, but I need God to bless my house while I'm in Atlanta. Is there anybody in here need God to bless your house while you in his house? But I came to tell you, everybody that's going to represent your house, I need you to stand on your feet. Because some of y'all need God to do some really important things in your house. And while you're representing your house, I need you to call your address so he can come directly to you. Come on, call it out. Call it out. Because while you're calling it out, he's on his way there. Y'all believe that? He's on his way to your house. He's going to pay some bills off. Your children's tuition is going to be paid up. Student loans are going to be paid off <laughs> with favor. I got to get happy off my own stuff in here. This is just for you. Many of us in here have been here, right here. Listen. You've been broken. Hearted. Mm -hmm. Misused and abused. You've even shed some tears. Male and female. Hard joy and pain. You've been through the fire and the rain. You see, we all facing trials, trials that we've never, never, never been in. But we are hanging on to every word he said. Right in the Bible, y'all know what that is. The Bible that we read, I put my hope. Do you do it? I put my hope in you. Trusting in you, Lord. You're going to see me through. Believe in that thing is the only way. Lord, bless my house as I bless. Oh, y'all know it, don't you? Lord, bless my house as I bless you. I don't know who I'm talking to in here, but there's a single parent in here that's been worried about how in the world am I going to get from month to month and only got just a little bit from paycheck to paycheck. God told me to tell you, if you're just giving praise, he's going to work it out. Before you know it, he's going to blow your mind. This is some of y'all, y'all saying this, listen. He staying with outstretched hand I'm crying out to you Lord I need a divine refreshing I'm empty Lord God nothing else to give my faith in you are here I vow to be in your will I put my hope anybody put your hope in him 
That's why you're still here. Trusting that you, Lord, you got to see me through. Believing that faith is the only way. Come on, Lord, bless my house as I bless you. Lord, bless my house as I bless you. This is us. Listen, for so many years now, we've been preaching, singing, and praying, telling the world about your goodness and your saving grace. I've seen your Lord do miracles time and time again. And I pray to you, Father, I need anybody in here need a helping hand. Lord, bless my house as I bless you. Yes, Lord, bless my house as I. Come on, y'all, help me say it. Lord, bless my, yes, as I bless. Come on, say it. If you want him to do it, Bless you. Do you want him to do it? Oh, go to my house while I got my hands up in your house. Oh, bless, bless my house. Yes, somebody connected to my house right now. They may be in another city, another state, but I need you, Jesus. Oh, as I bless. Jesus some of y'all may have some family members that you've been asking God to touch Lord bless my yeah Lord as I they connected to you Lord bless my house uh huh yes while I'm here tonight get in your word oh, oh, oh. as I bless you oh as I lift you up I need you to go to my house yes. bless it God I bless it yes Lord bless my yeah Lord listen I need y'all to say this oh, oh fix it Jesus fix it Jesus fix it now come on say it yeah fix it Jesus fix it Jesus fix it now Come on, if you need him to say it, fix it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I need him to do it right now. Oh, yeah. Fix it, Jesus. Yes. Some of y'all having problems with your children, but say, fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Right now. Hey, yeah, yeah. Fix it, Jesus. Yeah. Some of y'all having financial difficulties, say, fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Right now, I need oh, oh, oh. fix it, Jesus. Right now. Some of y'all having problems on your job, say. Before I get there, tomorrow morning, I need you to work it out. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Some of y'all got health challenges, say, Lord. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Lord. Right now, hey, hey, hey. Fix it, Jesus. Yeah. Anybody in here really need God to fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. You see what's going on. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it right now. Hey, 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 hey. I need him to. I need him to. Wave your hand if you want God to do it. Fix it right now. All over the room. Yes. You know what your people need. Yeah, yeah. I need you to do it. Somebody's got a husband that's not doing well. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Lord. Oh, the doctors don't know what to do. But fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Lord. Yeah. Oh, fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Oh, one more time, say, Fix it, Jesus. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it now. Come on and tell him, thank you, Lord. Come on and tell him, thank you, Lord. Tell him, 
thank you. Fix it, Lord. Fix it, Lord. Fix it, Lord. I can guess, I can just see some of y'all on your way to work saying before you get there, fix it, Lord. You just drop your child off at school and you're saying, Lord, they're having problems, but fix it, Lord. I see some of y'all just got off the phone and you got some bad news, but you, while you're here, God's going to fix it for you. Just touch sweet people and say, God's going to fix it. Yes, he will. Ah, yes, he will. I know he will. I know he will. I know he will. Oh, y'all in the balcony, I ain't forgot about y'all. God told me to tell you he's working on it right now. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Ah, Ooh, yeah. Gotta leave it alone because I feel my help coming on. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, look at somebody and say he's fixing it right now. Tell him he's fixing it right now for you. Why are you trying to figure it out? God didn't already worked it out. What's going to happen by the end of this week? God already got it under control. Mm-hmm. See, somebody excited about it because they ain't got to worry about it. See, those of y'all that ain't saying nothing, you're going to be worrying by Thursday. You better open your mouth and say something so God can see that you need him to fix it. I need him. I need him to fix it. Ain't no shame in my game. I want him to fix it. I ain't even too proud to beg. I need him to fix it. I ain't got enough money and I need him. I need him. I, I, I need him to fix it. Yes, I do. I said, yes, I do. I got to get to the word. I got to get to the word. I got to get to the word. Some of y'all got a sneak peek that he's already doing it. I said some of y'all got a sneak peek that he's already doing it. Because faith believers already start shouting before it even materialize. Tell your neighbor I got a feeling something good's going to happen this week. Tell your neighbor I got a feeling something good is going to happen to me. I'm trusting God for the outcome. Hey. Come on, Mark Carmel. Oh, yeah, we got some good musicians tonight. This is Atlanta. Woo! My, 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 my. Oh, you might as well give him a fix-it praise, a fix-it praise. He see your head down, that means you mean business. Say, I, I gotta praise, I gotta praise, and I gotta get it out. I gotta praise. Do you really believe it? Say, I, I gotta praise, I gotta praise, and I gotta get it out. I gotta praise. Come on, come on, y'all. Hey, one more time. I gotta praise and I gotta get it out. I gotta praise. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God's been good. God's been kind. I'm so glad, friend of mine. Walk with me. Talk with me. I came tonight. I came tonight. I came tonight. I came tonight. Don't have no other 
the reason to but but pray them but but pray them I got to pray them woke me up this morning clothed me in the right mind I got eyes to see I got legs to walk I got ears to hear got a roof over my head I'm so glad to I'm so glad to I'm gonna bless the Lord I'm gonna bless the Lord I got a reason to I got a reason to I got a reason to do you have a reason to do you have a reason to do you have a reason do you have a reason do you have a reason come on y'all pray them come on y'all pray them I'm gonna give about 10 10 10 seconds 10 10 seconds 10 10 seconds come on get it in come on get it in cause God's fixing it cause God's working it cause God's moving it cause God's shoving it God's God telling it everything uh, everything around you is about to change everything around you about to shift everything about you trying to turn gold uh, Them. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I came to give them all the glory. I came to praise them. Oh, I got to, I got to praise them. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm a praise him. I'm a praise him. I'm a bless him. I'm a bless him. I came. I came to give him. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Come on and bless him. Come on and bless him. Oh, bless his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The 27th number of Psalms. At the fourth verse, I want to talk about why we're in the upper room. I want to talk about why we keep coming to the upper room. To many, it's a commitment. To many, it's something that you know you have to do. But there's a reason why I keep coming to church. Am I talking to real saints up in here? Am I real believers. Reason why you have to keep coming while everybody else is at the club. Some of y'all ain't saying something. You going to a club after this? <laughs> it's the reason why you keep coming to the green room. Is because you've been asking God to do something. And every promise that God made to you, sometimes you got to cry on it. Sometimes you got to shout on it. Sometimes you got to do this on it. Because his promises are yea and amen. And then in Numbers it tells us that God is not a man that he should lie. Think about it. We've lied. Come on, don't act like you ain't never lied. You ain't never lied. Don't, don't act like you ain't never lied. We lied. But God has never told us a lie. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. If he spoke it, whatever is in that word, I don't care if it's digital or if it's manual. Look at your neighbor and say, what you got in your hand? On your cell phone. Whatever he spoke in his word is surely going to come to pass. Y'all believe that? So I want to tell you why, why, why you keep coming to the green room. <laughs> Psalms 27 and 4 says, one thing have I desired. 
of the Lord, and that will I seek after. That I may dwell where? In the green room. In the house of the Lord. Not some of my days. Not just when I feel like it. Not when I don't feel like it. Come on, talk to me. All the days of my life. Now that I know him, I have no other reason to have any other choice. It says, behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Now let me tell you what the, what the believer's Bible says. One prayer have I made to the Lord and this is in my heart or it's in my desire. That I may have a place in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Looking on his glory and getting wisdom in his temple. Here's another, here's another version. It says, the one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord through sickness and pain, heartache and strain, when I'm stressed out and depressed. But all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple. I want you to close your Bible. Grab a neighbor by the hand and look him right dead in the eye. They may owe you some money, but this is a good time to get it. Say, don't lie. When are you going to pay me back my money? No. <laughs> look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor. it's a reason why I keep coming back for more. Look on the other side. Get the other neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. What, is what is your reason why you keep coming back for more? It's evident that it's the word of God. Y'all believe that? Why is it that you keep coming? You can have a seat. Ma'am and sir. Why is it? I'm going to change my subject tonight. My subject is what keeps me coming back for more. But I want to change it for Atlanta, Mark Carmen. Why do I keep coming to the green room? That's what, I just want to change it for Mark Carmen. I know we've got some visitors here tonight, but you just think about your church. Just think about your church and say, why do I keep going there? I want to ask you this question tonight because this is important because for the next two, no, one month, we will be turning into something. Something is going to happen to America. And believers say this. That it does not matter what the outcome is, we just know that God's going to take care of us. Yeah. Believers, I need you to say something. I don't care. I know everybody ain't up with Trump. It's Trump, um, yeah, everybody ain't up with Trump right now. For real, for real. Uh-huh. And, and I don't want to say dump Trump, but I just want, I just want everybody ain't. <laughs> everybody ain't up, especially what happened last night. Everybody ain't up with that. Ladies. Ladies, yeah, in another month, our world will change. But in the middle of the change, it's a good thing to know you've got somebody that's got your back. God's going to make sure that the right choice is made for his people. I just believe that. I don't, I'm not talking to people in here that are afraid. I'm talking to people in here that know that God has taken care of you all this time. And he's not going to leave you hanging. He is not going to let his people be ashamed. He's going to make sure you got food on your table. I don't care if your taxes are raised. He's going to make sure that you're taken care of. Am I talking to anybody in here? God needs to see if you really trust him. The word of God said, trust in the Lord. 
with all your heart and lean not to what you know or what you think or what you feel. No, lean to your own understanding. But in all of your ways, you got to do something while you're on your job. Make acknowledgement. Make acknowledgement of the Lord. Because if you acknowledge him, he will direct your path. Ah, just look at somebody and say, God's going, he's going to navigate you to the right place. Yes, he is. It's amazing how we can just have an address and show up at the address with the navigation. Y'all ain't hearing me. But if, it, if, it, if a navigation system does that, can you imagine what God can do for his people as we go through this life and understand that there are going to be some bumps in the road and there's going to be some detours and there's going to be some delays, there's going to be some traffic. But you do understand that God's going to lead you right. But he leadeth us in the path of righteousness. That's why you got to understand that the word of God is important. It is vital in this season of your life. It's vital, sisters and brothers. I can't, I can't even stress it enough how vital it is. And you cannot, you cannot miss the green room. Because every time you come, there is going to be a word directly to you. And sometimes the word comes when you really don't feel like coming. Oh, that ain't happened to some of y'all because y'all ain't been here, praise God. But I'm talking to people that understand that every time you come into the house of God, there is something that grabs a hold to you and it brings confirmation in the word of God. Things that you've been praying over, things that you've been fasting over, things that you've been talking to other people about and saying, I'm just looking for God to do it. I'm, work, I'm looking for God to work that thing out. I'm looking for God to change the situation. And by the time you come back to the house of God, the situation situation is changed. Come on, shake your head and say, yes, yes. It's happened to all of us. The Bible says, thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against thee. You have to have the word of God. The word of God, it, it, it pricks you and it it, it sometimes grabs you and says to you, ah, you know you shouldn't be doing that. Then the word of God tells you, you got to get back on track. It reminds you every time you get into the green room, I got to straighten this out. Oh, come on. We all got some little things that, that's been coming in our life that's been hindering us from getting closer to God. And it's because the enemy's job is he, he's on his job now. Now, now, he, yeah, now, 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 now he on his job. He, he, the Bible says he come to kill, steal, and destroy. He tried to stop you from coming here. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He tried to stop you from coming. Some of y'all say, well, if I go home, I ain't going to be able to come on back. I better, get, I better go straight to the house of God. I got to get to the green room. Okay, ain't got time to change clothes. I got to get to the green room. I got to gotta sit real far away from everybody. I got to get to the green room. <laughs> it's imperative that I get there because there is a word from God that I'm looking for. A word for my family, a word for my business, a word for my job, a word for business decisions that I'm trying to make and I'm having a hard time. There's a word from God and you got to understand that every word that comes forth or come out of the mouth, he said that he will make sure that you know about it. He's going to work it out for you. Have I got anybody in here know he's going to work it out for you? You know, what's interesting to me is that th th this subject, this subject, why do I keep coming back for more? It, 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 it finds ourselves in love with Jesus. 
It's amazing how all of us can be in love with the same man at the same time. <laughs> Ladies, he can be your man and my man at the same time. And I ain't got to worry about following you home. Y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> and he takes care of all of us. We got issues, but somehow he works it out. He's like Casper. The friendly ghost. He just shows up and just works things out. Y'all don't remember that, do y'all? Yeah, yeah. He, 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 did, he just knows how to work out five things at one time. While you trying to figure out how in the world we going to make ends meet. The ends ain't, ain't meant to meet. Y'all will get that when you get home. Some of y'all are slow in here. I'm, th I'm finding out you're a little slow. God want to find out, do you have enough trust in him and enough faith in him to believe that he'll work it out before the deadline? Isn't that amazing how, how he, you know, sometimes we, we, we get a situation maybe about 9 o'clock in, in the morning and this thing has worried you all day long. I mean, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Three o'clock, four o'clock, it's still on your mind and you're trying to figure out how many, and you only got 12 hours to get this thing settled. Am I, the only talk, am I talking to people that, that yeah, yeah, yeah. you trust the God that, that just, you don't know what he going to do, but he going to show up. He's the slowest God, but will show up right on time. How am I going to get this done? And, and who can I call? And if I call them, they're going to have it all across Atlanta. So I can't call them. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And Jesus is sitting there waiting, saying, why don't you just trust me? Trust me. I got this. And here you are. Oh, oh God. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 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 <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. And he's sitting up there saying, mm -mm -mm. I had this thing all along. But worry got them. Worry got them to the point where they can't even see me. <laughs> now, why? Would you allow worry to get you to that point? See, 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 see that, 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 that shows that you, you're having a little lack of faith. Because the Bible says it's, it's impossible to please him. He wants you to please him. Just have trust him. I don't know who I'm talking to. Somebody got an appointment this week. I, I don't know who I'm talking to, but God told me to tell you, all you got to do is just show up. But praise me on the way there. Y'all ain't hearing me. That's a good place to give somebody a high five. They don't even know. It may happen to them. They don't even know. They may get a call tomorrow and say, I'm going need you in my office on Friday. Y'all ain't saying that. Y'all don't believe God like that. Look at your neighbor and say, you don't know how God going to come. You don't know how he going to come. You better just praise God and know that he'll work something out. My God, you don't have the money to do what needs to be done. You don't have the resources to make it happen. But my God shall supply, not some. But all of your needs What you need I need you now I need you now I need you now Not a second, no another minute. I don't know the words. Not the hour or another day. 
But Lord, this moment, with arms stretched out wide, and I need you right away. I don't need to wait till tomorrow, but today. Tell your neighbor, say, that's how bad I need him. That's how bad I need him. And he's saying, I'm here. Just trust me. He said in his word, cast all your care on him because he loved you enough to care about you. While you're trying to figure it out, God has already got the resources. He's already got the connection. The very people that you think going to help you ain't going to help you. God's going to have to make up some people. Y'all ain't here. Sometimes God has to open up a new door. Y'all ain't here. Sometimes he has to create a door. Y'all ain't hearing me. Tell your neighbor, say, you don't know how God going to come. Just know he going to show up. That's why, that's why, that, that's why you're here right now on Tuesday. That's why you're here on Tuesday in the upper room because you need God to do something for you. And some of you said, God, you did it before and I'm looking for you to do it again. Anybody in here got some bad situation, some really, really tough situation and you're trying to figure out, Lord, how, what's going to happen? And God said, don't you worry. It's going to work out in your favor. Some of y'all got some court situations and you're saying, Lord, I don't know how the outcome is going to be. But trust me, if you're in the middle of it, he going to bring you out of it. Because if he was in the middle of the fire with the Hebrew boys, you got to know he going to be in your fire too. Ah, if he was with David and Daniel and, and Abraham and Moses, look at your neighbor and say, if he was with all of them, certainly he's going to be with me. You got to assure yourself. You got to assure yourself he's going to be with me. I guarantee you some of y'all waiting and wondering, saying, Lord, what's going to happen this week? God told me to tell you Thursday and Friday are very important days for this church tonight. Some of y'all going to get that later. You, gonna, you, you better praise God right there. I said Thursday and Friday. So I'm a true prophet of God. Trust me. God speaks to me. Yes, he does. I said Thursday or Friday. Some of y'all still ain't clapping. It, and God's trying to find a true praiser that trusts me enough to praise me even if they don't see me. Know that all of these years that you have been living, I haven't let you down. It looked like it. But sometimes I got to let you go through the heat so you can know what heat feels like. Y'all ain't hearing me. Sometimes you got to go through the fire so you can know what it feels like to go through. Sometimes God's got to bring some affliction so that you can look up and say, okay, God, okay, what you trying to say? That's how he gets our attention is when something desperately happens to us. But just lift your hand and say, God, I already know what you can do for me. Stop by to tell everybody in the green room that God has not forgotten about you. Derek, I'm going to tune up in just about three minutes. And uh, I, 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 this is the thing that I want you to understand. That Jesus come that you might have life. He, he, he doesn't want you to be in a place where you can't see your way out. If you look up, you can see that you've got a way out because there's help in the hills. Every time you look up to the hills from what's coming, your help, your help comes from the Lord. When you walk around and say, I know I got affliction in my body and I know what the doctors are saying, but I'm trusting God and I'm believing. I've heard so many testimonies of what God did for other people and I know he's going to do it for me. Do you know that God is hearing everything you're saying? You're trusting God with faith. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I don't see it, but I'm crazy enough to believe that he 
he's going to heal my body. And if he don't heal me, I know he's able. Just look at your neighbor and say, he's able. Yes, he is. He's able, he's able, he, he's able to make a way out of no way. That's the reason why they call him a way maker. He's able to clear your mind and, and regulate your mind. That's the reason why they call him a mind regulator. He's able to be that doctor in the sick room, that lawyer in the courtroom. He's able, he's able, he's able. And he wants you to commit your ways to him. And he will. Mm. Mm -hmm. He gonna bring it to pass. But 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 I stop by to tell you that that the reason why we keep coming to church is 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 because I made a vow to him. I made a commitment to him. That since he got me, oh Lord, I feel my help in here. On the front line, where people are looking at me. People are seeing how are you going when you really don't feel like going. But I found out that every, 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 every time I step foot in the house of God, I get joy, unspeakable joy. I get peace, everlasting peace, peace in my mind, even when I'm troubled at times. Look at your neighbor and say, have you ever came to church and you didn't know what was going to happen, but when you left, God showed up and worked a miracle on your behalf. Come on, shout it, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I got to get out of here. I feel my help in here. I stopped by to tell y'all the reason why. We're in the upper room tonight. And thank God that y'all at the beginning of the upper room experience. Because God told me to tell you tonight that some of y'all been faithful over a few things. And now he's getting ready to push you through the front. Some folk have said that you'll never be nothing. You'll never have nothing. You'll never amount to nothing. But look at your neighbor and say, look at me. I'm a miracle. I may not look like you want me to look. But trust me, I've been through. I've made it through the storm. I've made it through the rain. I've made it through heartache. I've made it through pain. I've made it through sickness. I've made it losing loved ones. And I found out that as long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. Mother can't come to my rescue. Father can't come to my rescue. Even when my mother and my father forsake me, the Lord will take me up. He'll walk with me like a sister and a brother. He'll tell me what to do in any given time. But what I love about it is that he give me favor. Favor is what money came by. Favor only has one thing in common. It shows up in front of all of your haters. Yes, it does. When they said you couldn't afford what you got now, they was liars. Yes, they was. They were hating on you. But favor grabbed you by the collar and said, go in front of them. Go 
because the Bible says that he'll prepare a table in front of you right before you play your haters. You'll sit down, look them in the face. They shouldn't even be at your table. But God brought them there to see what God will do. He'll spread a table right in front of the folk that hate on you. Can I get a witness? Tell your neighbor, say favor. Also puts money where it needs to, where it needs to be. Favor will make room for you when there's not a seat in the house. Favor, somebody said it ain't fair, but I stopped by to tell you, it's fun, it's fabulous, it's fruitful, giving me to be his favorite, and it won't disappoint me. It's favor, it's fun, because I'm so glad everywhere he puts me, everybody got to see me. Favor is fun when you look in the bank the day before. You didn't have what you needed, but favor showed up in your bank account. You were able to get what you needed. I wonder if I got a few of y'all that can wave at your sister and say, I know he can do it. Matter of fact, can I tell y'all in the upper room what God is doing? That by Thursday or Friday, something mysterious is going to happen. It's going to blow your mind. God going to talk to some people and make them give you the raise. God's going to talk to some people that owe you. And they're going to say, I got your money Y'all don't hear me. God's going to talk to some employers and tell them, call them in the office and say, I got a better position. Give somebody a high five and say, wouldn't you like that? Wouldn't you like that? Tell your neighbor, wouldn't you like that? I tell you, Thursday or Friday is blessing the upper room. Yes, it is. Because when you praise him at where you are, God start moving in other directions, moving you into other people, people that don't know you, but they speaking up your name. They don't know what you look like, but when you walk through the door, favor is on your face. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Tell your neighbor. Say, that's the reason why I keep coming to church. Because it never ceases to amaze me. What God going to do next? Tell him, say, by this time tomorrow, God's got a miracle. What's your name on it? Yes, he does. And if you only believe, it'll catch you by surprise. Yes, it will. That's why I keep coming to church. I was born in it. I was raised up in it. I stayed in it. I was trained in it. The Bible says train up a child in the way it should go. That when it is old, I'm old now, y'all. I ain't going nowhere. Matter of fact, I'm too old to go anywhere. I'm going to stay here and get my blessings that I got coming with my name on it. I got checks coming. Y'all ain't hearing me. I got CDs coming. Good God Almighty. I got houses coming. I got cars coming. I ain't the only one got it coming. You ought to raise your hand. Because every time you raise your hand, it gets the signal to God. And God says, I got you. Don't worry about it. You've been trying to fill out the application. And it seems like your credit is jacked up everywhere you go. They turning you down. But look at your neighbor said, there's a bank out there in America 
that will not turn you down because your father is rich in houses and land. He holds the wealth of the world in his hand. Can I get a witness? The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. I dwell in it. I believe that by coming to church, God said, ask, it shall be given. He said, seek, and you will find. He said, knock, that door is coming open. Tell your neighbor, you ain't seen nothing yet. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and haven't entered into your heart the good things that God has prepared. Can I get a witness? Why do I keep coming to the green room? I got to get to church. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, it's seven o'clock, it's church time. I got to get there. I may not have a seat. If I got to stand, I'm going to bless him because he understands that when I get there, joy is coming. Peace is coming. He's getting ready to straighten some things out. He's getting ready to lift your depressed mind. He's getting ready to take stress off of your heart. But every time you open your mouth, you got to be like David. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. I got to keep coming to the green room for my children. I got to keep coming to the green room for my blessing. I got to keep coming to the green room because God promised me that if I will lift him up, I'll draw all men unto you. If I keep coming, the joy of the Lord is my strength. If I keep coming, for they that have waited on the Lord, he shall renew your strength. I got to keep coming because I'm getting ready to mount up as wings of an eagle. I'm going to run and not get weary. I got to keep coming. I'm going to walk and not faint for God is my refuge. And my strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. I got to keep coming. I got to keep coming. He's Jehovah Jireh. He's my provider. I got to keep coming for my enemies. Fret not myself because of player haters. They'll soon be cut down. If I keep coming, they'll soon be with it away. If I keep coming, God will shut their mouth. If I keep coming, God said that I'll make you the head and not the tail. I'll make you above and not beneath. I got to keep coming. Nothing can stop me. Nothing can separate me from the love of God. Neither light nor death, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. I got to keep coming, because if I come, I can't be separated from the Lord. I'm inseparable. Where he goes, I'll go with him. I'll go with him wherever he needs me, wherever he leads me. I'll go in the valley. I'll go in the mountaintop. I'll go through the water. I'll go through the valley. I'll go through sickness. I'll go in pain. I'll go. Have I got anybody in the green room? Say, that's why I keep coming. That's why I keep coming.
keep coming because my healing is on the way. I keep going to the doctor. He's taking me off my medication. I got to keep coming because my child is coming off of drugs. I got to keep coming because my uncle and my aunt is coming off of alcohol. I got to keep coming because as for me and my house, we will. I ain't got nobody in here. We will serve the Lord. Keep coming. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Don't let nobody keep you from getting your praise on. I got to praise him from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. His name shall be praised. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous we run in and we're safe. Safe from the election. Safe from the water. Safe from everything that's going on around me. While the earth is moving, God has got my back and I'm not worried about what the enemy say. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Lord will lift up a standard. That's why I'm coming. Cause I'm fighting for my right. I'm fighting for my healing. I'm fighting for deliverance. I'm fighting for my children. I'm fighting for my auntie. I'm fighting for my uncle. I'm fighting for my family. Can I get a witness that my children are going to be blessed in the fields, blessed in the hills. He's going to bless your corn out. You're coming in. Matter of fact, get your feet going while you're walking. Act like you're walking on wealth. Come on, move from side to side. Act like you're walking. Because while you're walking, you're walking in a new season. Some folk can't come with you in this new season. You got to drop off some of the people that you've been walking with. Because God said, I need you to walk along. I'm going to be with you. But I can't talk to you and your friends. I got to talk to you by yourself. Because I'm your shepherd. You shall not want. You shall lay down in green pastures. You shall be by the still waters. Yay. Though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I fear no evil because God, he is that that he is. He's Alpha and Omega. He's the first and the last. He's the beginning and the end. He's my rock, my sword, my shield. He's a wheel in the middle of a wheel. He's a company keeper. He's a bill payer. He's a pain killer. Yes, he is. He'll do it. He'll bring you out. Bring you out on top. Look at your neighbor and tell him by Thursday or Friday. Come on, talk to your neighbor. Bring confirmation to the green room. Tell him by Thursday or Friday. You coming out, you coming out with your hands up. Thursday or Friday, you coming out in victory. Thursday or Friday, you coming out with good news. Thursday or Friday, some of y'all getting ready to get some keys, some new keys. It's coming to your house. Yes, it is. Open your mouth and say, I believe that God's word is going to stand tonight. I believe it. I'm going to stand on it. I'm going to walk on it. He said that.
that he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all. You can ask or think. So tell your neighbor why I came to the green room. Because God has got something he's about to release in my hand. Open your mouth and say he's about to release something big in my hand. I can handle it. I'm equipped for it. Matter of fact, he's going to prepare me for it. He's going to work it out. He's going to put people around me to make sure I can get this thing. Get it done. He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all. You can ask or think. Do y'all believe it? Open up your mouth. Give God the best praise you can give him for coming to the green room. Your answers have been answered. Yes, they have. Everything that you're concerned about, he's going to perfect that which concerns you. He's going to give you just what you need. Come on, open your mouth. Clap your hands. Move your feet. Shout to the Lord with the voice of triumph. Come on, he's able. I said he's able. I said he's able. He's able to do it. Touch three people and say he's able to do it. Tell them again he's able to do it. He's able to do it. Confirmation is in the house. He's able to do it. Heal your body. He's able to do it. Bring your finances in order. He's able to do it. Pay all your bills off. He's able to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anybody know he's able? Anybody know he's able? Oh. I I just need you to get somebody by the hand. Just get somebody by the hand. And tell them this. God's been watching you come into the green room. He's been watching you every time you pull up in the parking lot. He's been watching you, paying your tithes. He's been watching you, giving your offerings. He's been watching you, being faithful. He's been watching you, pressing through the mess. He's been watching you, and guess what? Guess what? He's getting ready to blow your mind. You ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. I wonder, can you shout on it? Can you shout on what he's about to do? Can you shout on what he's about to do? He's going to blow your mind. Yes, he is. He's going to do it. He's going to change it. He's going to shift it. He's going to move it. Come on, praise him, praise him, praise him. I wish I could get some, if I can get about 10 shouters, just to shout on what God promised you. heal your body just praise me through it I'm going to make a way where it looks like there is no way just praise me through it I'm going to get you through school 
through all the semesters. Just praise me through it. I'm gonna make sure that your bank account never gets low. Just praise me through it. How you trying to figure it out, God? Already got it. He's already working it out. Give him praise, praise him. Praise him in the green room. You can't do this at home. Come on, you better scream, you better holler, you better say something. You're not gonna be able to do this at home. You better get it out, get it out. Get that stress up off of you. Get that depressed demon up off of you. Get that lazy spirit up off of you. Give God praise. will bless him no matter what it looks like no matter what it sounds like no matter what it appears to be God promised me that if I praise him in the green room he gonna go to one of my rooms in my house and work a miracle yes he will Oh my God, oh my God. I thought this was a Baptist church. Seems like Pentecostal to me. Y'all got an upper room experience? Right here. Oh yeah. Hallelujah. Check out. Listen, I want y'all to get somebody by the hand. I want you to get that person by the hand. Get them by the hand. Don't be, don't be scared. Get them by the hand. And tell them, say, God is getting ready to reward you for being in the green room. Say, all the time you've been coming, you've been waiting on a miracle. Well, here it is. Now listen. I want you to shout with that neighbor for a few seconds. And when I say change, you got to get somebody else and go to shout with him. All right? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? One, two, three. Come on, shout. Come on, shout with that neighbor. Shout. Shout with that neighbor. Shout. Shout. Shout with that neighbor. Shout. Shout. Shout with that neighbor. Shout. Change! Get somebody else. Get somebody else. Shout with that neighbor. Shout! Shout with that neighbor. Shout! Shout with that neighbor. Shout! Shout! Shout with that neighbor. Change! Get somebody else. Shout with that neighbor. Shout! Shout! Shout with that neighbor. Shout! Shout! Shout with that neighbor. Shout! Shout! Shout with that neighbor. Shine! I feel this thing, y'all. I feel a miracle in the house. Some of y'all get tired. You should be shouting with somebody. Come on. One can chase a thousand, but two can put ten thousand to flight.